so my friend Anthony just showed me the funniest thing. Oh, I need to show you guys. You guys need to see this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but. Um, let's try to show you. Can you see that? That was me in 2014. <gasps> Crazy, isn't it? Oh, God. Memories. This day was so funny, but anyway. Let's get into this video. <laughs> A lot of people that come into your life that want you and you put out what you want, they can make you they can make you feel like you're not gonna get what you want, but it's just really and truly because they're not there to offer it and they can't offer it. They're not capable of offering it. It's not it's not in their capacity or they're not built to even offer you half of the qualities that you deserve, let alone require. And they will make you feel like that they are as good as you're gonna get. And that is how I feel about this douchebag. He's like, oh my god, let me just try it out. And yeah, 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 yeah. Listen here, yeah, I'm not no riffraff boy off the street, right? And even before this little bit of glow up, right? I wasn't a riffraff boy either. So I don't deserve to have any, uh, to just accept any and anything just because that person happens to be good, a good person. Because I didn't know I'm an adult and there's certain things and certain qualities that I need to, in order for me to grow with someone and build on something and establish something. Because I want something meaningful, I want something that I just know what I want in someone and in a man in general. And what I want out of my relationship and what I aspire for out of that. And there's a lot of people because they don't see that and I've come across so much more in my life I was going through that like you're crazy if you think that's going to happen you need to have sex first before you even get to know someone you need to do this you need to do this I'm as good as you're going to get and if you can't do no 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 listen bitch I'm as good as you're going to get we all want to be adored and we kind of would do anything if we kind of see that there's a potential in love with someone regarding regardless of what, what our standards are it's so easy to break down those barriers and break down what you want and and not and not aspire for what you want and not keep reminding yourself of what you want in someone just because someone shows you a little bit and don't make yourself that easy to people because these people are, once you do that and once you let them in it takes a whole lot of you to mend yourself and it it doesn't end up being worth it i have given so much chances to people that never should have just even been there anyway and that's because they showed a little bit and i never valued myself enough and i never believed in what i wanted enough or that i was worthy of what i was asking for enough that i allowed them in and i allowed to be taken advantage of with open eyes my eyes weren't closed i have to take responsibility and majority of responsibility because i allowed myself to be in those situations and that is just what i'm just telling you guys like just keep your standards keep them live your best life have fun do what you're doing flirt but don't dumb yourself down or make you feel like what you want in someone or anything in general is not reachable because it is there's hundreds of people there's the girls that said oh my god i only want to be a wag i never want i never want to work i never want to work on my man to support me i'm going to have a baby by a famous person and i'm going to live on that you know what as dumb, as stupid and how as, as silly a mentality that some of that can be to some people, some of those girls have got exactly what they want. Exactly. And it's not even a bad thing of don't ask. You should be careful what you wish for. Some of them are living their best lives as wags. Some of them are living their, their best lives as football baby mamas or baby mamas of high profile people, of rich people. And that's what they wanted. So if that was what their standard is and it, what they got, who, who, who are you to tell me that I can't aspire for someone that at least wants the traits that I aspire for with regardless to, within regards to the relationship? You can't tell me shit 
because I, I'm worthy of it. That's what you need to do. You need to believe what you want. Speak it out openly and don't be ashamed of asking and saying what you want. I used to be so ashamed of saying what I wanted, you know, from people. And I remember certain times I've spoken to people and they're like, what do you want? And it, when I'd be like, what do you want? And they'll be like, well, to be honest, I just want to go for the flow and stuff. I'd feel embarrassed to say, well, I want someone to marry me. I want blah, blah. Oh, my God, I used to feel so embarrassed. Now, let me tell you, yeah, I'll give you a whole damn list right on a plate. And you can either suck it up, munch it up, and love it. Or you can get the fuck out of here. Nonsense. Listen, yeah, me. I haven't got time to waste, you know. I honestly have no time to waste. Like, we're either going to do this or we're not. Very straightforward. Because I've learned that you can give someone a chance and you can go see them for the longest time ever and it can still amount to shit. Whereas you can get things over and done with quick. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'm out. That's it. Poof. To just don't go into things with expectations as well. Don't go into things with expectations. Always acknowledge your worth and who you are and what you want. Always know what you want don't ever for a second be distracted by what you want in someone because once you hold on to that and once you go in to, with that mentality it, 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 once you have that mentality and you're opening yourself to that it's so much easier to start attracting what you want but first it has to work up here don't be distracted one ounce don't let no cloud or fog cloud anything to do with your thoughts or what you want in someone in it nonsense because me i never allowed it to cloud and what end up happening i'm starting to get really decent people so as a psycho i wanted to tell you guys that there is definitely hope and you definitely can get anything that you aspire for like just believe in yourself because we can be our own worst but enemies at times you know we can be our own worst critics. It's so easy to be negative on yourself when you're feeling down and it's not it's not as easy to give yourself praise. And that's what we need to start doing. Praising and acknowledging how beautiful we are, what we contribute, how powerful we are. 